Hi family, I'm here with another heartfelt video, open and raw, the memoirs of a goddess. And I just want to talk about um, domestic violence, whether it comes from a parent or whether it comes from, um, you know, a lover later on in life. Being a survivor, a trauma survivor of domestic violence is a beautiful thing. So I just want to talk about um, how it ties into like limited religious belief systems as well. So growing up, I grew up in a um, religious home and you know, my stepfather, my parents, they believed in um, corporal punishment. They believed if you, if, you, if you spare the rod, you spoil the child, right? And I have done so much healing and I know I still have a lot of healing to go. And, you know, I know you, a lot of you guys can relate to this. So that's why I'm talking about it. But like, sparing the rod is, to me, in my, in my opinion, is supposed to be, um, it's not a literal sparing the rod. It's not talking about beat your child or, you know, beat your kid. It's talking about being disciplined. The rod is a discipline. So discipline is just a constant correction. So as a mom now, I've had to learn that you don't go just hitting your child, right? Or even just yelling at your child. You have to be consistent and patient and disciplined. And that takes a lot of work, right? But with religion, they, they want to tell you, you gotta, you gotta beat your child and things like that. And I want to, I just want to stand up for all the survivors or people that maybe even still be in this situation, which I encourage you to, to get out, you know, and if you, if you can't get out, you need to understand your worth. Please do the work on your worth because, um, nobody should hurt you you should feel safe okay so if you had grew up in an environment where you didn't feel safe and then later on you have relationships where you don't feel safe and then when you have children creating an environment where then your kids don't feel safe so it's just like we, we break in that fam we break in that shit and I just want to encourage you to take whatever steps you need to take to get out of any kind of dangerous situation. But also, I just want to give you mad love if you have survived things like I'm talking about. If you have survived domestic violence, you know? So, I love you guys so much. And God bless you from the goddess herself. I just want to add to this too. If you notice a lot of people that are of minority or that grew up in the hood, right? Those are the main places that they're instilling corporal punishment. And it's because if they can get into your child's head that you ain't shit, then it's like later on in life, you know what I'm saying? You're just going to be a statistic in the jail system or in, you know what I'm saying? So be aware, especially if you grew up in poverty, especially if you if you are a minority, understand how worthy you really are, okay? You're beautiful. Ashe. No they sell nothing to exit. Surety brings